Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this beverage mitt here. So your can fits inside of it. Take it out here. Show you a little bit about it. The inside is actually made with cotton. You can see it on the bottom. That way I don't know if your can happens to sweat or something, the cotton's going to absorb it more than the acrylic will. So the inside is cotton where your can sets and the rest is acrylic or wool or whatever you want to use so one of you can it should hold a can it's a little tight fitting and it's supposed to be so once you get your can in there it'll stretch it out a bit shove your can in there like that and then it works no matter what if you're left or right-handed it doesn't matter but now you can fit your hand in there and it keeps it nice and warm the cotton's going to absorb any sweat off the can so you don't have to worry about that. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. You can see the cotton. And that's it. It's actually pretty easy. It's pretty much all done. A little bit of, there's mostly single crochet, the main part. Here's some little bit of ribbing just for decoration on the, on the wrist. But other than that, it's actually, it's pretty easy. I think you could probably do it, hopefully, if you follow along. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project I used, like I showed you, for the inside of the can, I used cotton. It's 100% four-ply cotton. I used peaches and cream. The color I used was dark taupe. You don't have to use cotton for the inside. I did it because, um, you know, sometimes cans will sweat and acrylic is going to make it, this will absorb it, the cotton will. And acrylic won't absorb it and it'll be kind of slippery and a slidey. I don't know. You can use acrylic for the whole thing if you want. I chose to use cotton for the can part on the inside. So this is what I use. You don't need a lot of it. You know, um, if I had to guess, 20 yards maybe. And then for the main part, I used um, Lion Brand Vanna's Choice. Which is a medium four ply... I think it's a acrylic wool blend, if I can find it. Yeah, no, acrylic and rayon blend. Well, it's almost 100% acrylic. But you can use, um, you don't have to use acrylic, you could use wool or something like that. Um, you don't have to use this brand, any type of four ply yarn will work. You can even make the whole thing in cotton if you wanted to. but. I don't think it all of it in cotton is not going to keep your hand as warm as acrylic or wool will. But the color I used is barley. And there are, can't even find it. I can never find it. 145, 145 yards in this skein. And this is all I have left of this full, it was a full skein. So I'm going to say probably... 100 and 100 and 120 yards something like that is what you'll need to make one mitt and then I used a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and I want to also take a minute to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials I'd appreciate it okay first you want to start off with a slip knot on your hook with the cotton and then we're going to work a chain of four one two three four now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring you can use the magic circle here if you prefer and I'm going to chain one that chain one does not count as anything now I'm going to work 12 double crochets through the center of the ring so I'm going to yarn over and go right through the center, drop a loop, and then do my double crochet. And I want to do that 12 times. So that was one, two, three, four. Okay, once you get your 12 double crochet is done you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet not that chain one but the first double and now we're going to chain one again and we're going to go right back into that same stitch that we slip stitch into and we're going to do two double crochets into that stitch so there's one and two and now we're going to work two double crochets in every stitch all the way around 
until we get back to the beginning. So two into the next. And then two into the next. And we're just going to repeat that until we get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around, you should have 24 stitches now. And you want to end with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. Now we're going to start working, making it go. This is the base of it. The base of the can part. So now we're going to start building the sides up. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch over into the next stitch, but we're going to work in the back loop only of this first round. So you see there is two loops. There is one closest to you is called the front loop and the one furthest from you is called the back loop. So we're going to go right over here to that first back loop and slip stitch like that and then we're going to chain one and go right back into that same stitch and single crochet back loop only like that and now we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch we will be coming back to these front loops later but right now it's one single crochet in every stitch but we're only working in that one back loop until you get back around you should have 24 stitches when you make it back around it's like that so you can see that ridge of front loops we'll deal with that later Okay, when you make it back around and you count it and you have 24 stitches, now we're going to use the stitch marker. So I'm just going to use a piece of yarn and I'm going to put it right here. That way I know where I begin and where I end. Make sure we're going to just jump over to the very first single crochet. Not this chain one here, but the first single crochet and we're going to single crochet in it. Both loops now. So now we're working in both loops. We're not working in just the back loops anymore. So go ahead and single crochet in it. And we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the stitch marker. We're going to call this round two of the, of the cup holder part. We're not counting the base. So first round was where we worked in the back loops. And this is the second round. One single crochet in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. Should have 24 stitches when you make it back around. And remember, we're going through both loops now. Okay, I've made it all the way around at the end of round two of my can part. So I have 24 stitches still. I want to go ahead and pull my stitch marker out, move it up, and now I'm just going to repeat round two. So it's just one single crochet in every stitch around and I want to do that for a total of 14 rounds so we're on round three right now remember we're not counting the base as any any rounds our first round was where we worked in the back loops only so that was one two now we're on round three we want to do a total of 14 rounds of one single crochet we want, we want to keep going until we hit round 14. One single crochet in every stitch, 24 stitches at the end of each round. Okay, once you get done with your 14 rounds of single crochet, I made it back here to my stitch marker. Now all I'm going to do is slip stitch into the next stitch, both loops, going through both loops. Pull up and tie off. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and hide this tail real quick while, while I'm working on it or while I have it up here. And this is all that we're going to use with the cotton yarn. So, oops. I'm 
gonna go ahead and hide it on the inside or inside of it right here. Like that. Put that. And this one is the one from the bottom, so. Okay. Now we're going to start down here on the bottom where we, these uh, loops that we didn't go to into earlier, we're going to go into them now. But I'm going to use my other yarn now, my acrylic. So I'm not going to use that cotton anymore. <clears throat> oh my gosh, yarn barf. Look at that. Who hates that? I sure do. Okay, now you can start in any one of these one loops, but we're going to flip it this way to start. So, this is the bottom of a can, and this is the top. We're going to work this way. So, the bottom is right here. That way the stitches will be right side. So, just grab one of these loops. It's just going to be one loop there. Go ahead and start your yarn and chain one. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to put two single crochets into the next stitch. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into the next. And then the next I'm going to put two single crochets. one single crochet into the next and then the next is going to be two single crochets and that's the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way around the bottom here and remember we're only working in that one loop from when we started so one single crochet into the next and then two single crochets one single crochet and then two single crochets. So go ahead and repeat this until you get back to over here to your starting point. Okay, when you make it back around, we're gonna call this um, round one of the main part of the glove. So this would be round one that we just did of the main part of the glove since we finished with the cup holder part. And you should have 36 stitches now. So we're gonna work in a, uh, round again. So you want to get a stitch marker. I'm just going to use a piece of yarn again. So I'm going to put it right here where I started. Now I'm going to jump to the first single crochet and I'm going to put one single crochet in it. Like that. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into the next. So that was two single crochets in a row. Now the next one I'm going to put <clears throat> two single crochets in the same stitch like that. So one single crochet again in the next two stitches. So one and one and then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Two single crochets into the next. So we want to repeat this pattern, one single crochet into the next two stitches, and then two single crochets into the next, all the way around until we get back to our starting point, until we make it all the way around back to our stitch marker. Okay, I made it back around in uh, round two of the um, mitten part here. Um, and you should have 48 stitches now. So you just want to move your stitch marker up. And now what we're going to do is one round of one single crochet in every stitch. So we're just going to jump right over here to the first single crochet. This is, We're working on round three now. And put one single crochet. And now we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. 
and when you make it back around you still should have 48 single crochets so one single all the way around until you get back to your marker okay I've made it to round into round three here and you should have 48 stitches still I'm going to move my stitch marker I'm not going to be using it anymore so I'm going to take it out now we're going to be working back and forth because we need to leave a hole that our hand can go through so what we're going to do now is chain one and turn our work so this will be row four and we're going to put one single crochet right here into the very first stitch very first one what we want to do is do 30 um, six single crochets so that would in a row so that would be number one and then we keep going and we count till we get to 36 there's two three four five six okay I've done a 36 in a row and that should leave 12 unworked and that's what you want so now I'm just going to chain one and turn my work and I'm going to do the same thing again single crochet into that very first stitch and one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the other side This is uh, row five we're working on. So we did one, two, three, four. Now we're working on five. So go ahead and put one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the other side. Okay, when you make it there, you just want to chain one and turn, and then you just want to keep going back and forth um, rows of single crochet with 36. Uh, stitches in, in each row and you want to do that for a total of 12 rows and that is starting from this very first one where we attached our acrylic yarn one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and once you get them 12 rows done what we're going to do now is chain 12 one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then what we're going to do is that's in, that's in place of these twelve stitches that we skipped. We're just going to come right on over here to the single crochet over here and slip stitch into it like that. Okay. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to start working, we're going to do one row of single crochet, and we're going to work one in every stitch of, of the chain. So we chain one and turn, so we're going to go ahead and put one right back into this very first stitch, right before the chain. And then we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch of the chain. So that you should have 12 in the chain. Well, okay, there's 12. So I did the 12 of the chain plus the one I started with, so I have 13 now. And now I'm just going to continue around, start here with the very first single crochet here, working one single crochet 
in every stitch until I make it back around where I started. like that can we go get right back around here okay when you make it back to your starting point you should have 48 single crochets again so now I'm going to use the stitch marker and I'm going to do a row of decreases now so I'm just going to put my stitch marker right here that way I know where my row ends and begins and I'm going to put one single crochet into the very first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Single crochet decrease is worked over two stitches. So what I'm going to do is go into the next stitch and drop a loop and then into the next one and drop a loop and then I'm going to yarn over and go all through all three loops. So that took two stitches and made it into one. So I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to put one single crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one and two and now I'm going to single crochet decrease over the next two so I'm going to go into the next one drop a loop into the next one again drop a loop yarn over and go through all three loops again one single crochet into the next two stitches one and two single crochet decrease over the next two just like that so I'm going to repeat this decrease row all the way around until I get back to the beginning okay I've made it back to my stitch marker and I have two stitches left and I just need to decrease over those last two stitches that and now I should have a total of 36 stitches now. So now we're going to start, move our stitch marker up like that. And now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch around. Just no decreasing this round. Just one single crochet in every stitch around until you make it back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around now, and I'm on round, let's see, that was round 15, so I'm getting ready to start round 16, and I'm going to do another round of decreases, so I'm going to move my stitch marker up, this will be our last round of decreases for this part, so what we're going to do is put one single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to put a single crochet decrease over the next two. So we go into the next, drop a loop, into the next, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. One single crochet into the next, and single crochet decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next single crochet decrease over the next two and that's the pattern we're going to follow all the way around one single crochet into the next single crochet decrease over the next two and we want to do that until we get back to our stitch marker okay once you make it back around you should have two stitches left to decrease over and now you should have 24 stitches and we're going to go ahead and move our stitch marker up one more time and now we're just going to go around and put one single crochet in every stitch. No decreasing this time. So work your way around putting one single crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. And you still should have 24 stitches when you make it back around. Okay, when you make it back around to your stitch marker, 
we're going to go ahead and just take our stitch marker out. You should have 24 stitches. Now we're going to pull up our cotton piece of our can holder. And we're going to slip stitch this. Or actually we're going to single crochet it on to um, both pieces. We're going to uh, single crochet them together. So I'm going to get it on and make sure it's nice and straight. Make sure it's not twisted inside there. And when you look in the front, make sure it goes around evenly, that it's not all twisted up. It should lay up nice and straight though. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go in to the next stitch, and into the stitch on my uh, cotton piece there, single crochet, like that. And then I'm going to go into the sti next stitch here, and then the piece on my acrylic, and then the next stitch on my cotton, and single crochet. And I'm going to do this all the way around. The next stitch on my piece of acrylic, and then the next stitch on the cotton back here, grab, go through it, single crochet. The next stitch on my acrylic, just line them up. And then the next stitch on my cotton that I haven't went through yet, just look and make sure you haven't went through it so you're not going through the same one twice. And single crochet. And I'm going to do this all the way around and that's going to, that's going to hook those two pieces together. So the next stitch on my acrylic, and then on my cotton, single crochet. And you just want to do this until you get back to have no more stitches. It should be even, because you had 24 when you ended the cotton, and now we're gonna have, we had 24 when we end, stitches when we ended the acrylic. Oh, So I'm just going to continue around, getting that piece hooked together, and when you look you can see now that it's all attached there. So keep going around single crocheting that whole piece together. Okay, when you make it all the way around and you got it all sewed together there at the top, just go ahead and slip stitch right here into your first single crochet, and then you can tie that off, and then hide that tail, but we'll go ahead and I will we'll get a can try it out. Now it's going to be kind of tight um, at first, getting your first can through there. But after that it should stretch out enough that you can put your can in. So like I said, it's going to be a little tight. Let's put your can in there at first. My can's empty in case you can't notice, but there we go. So, pull my camera up. Once you get the first can in there, that's what it's kind of starting to start to look like there. So now we're going to make the mitt part to go around. So I'm going to take the can out. And then we'll get started on that mitt part. Okay, you want to take your acrylic yarn again. We're going to start. We're going to go all around this whole thing with single crochet. So I'm going to start down here on the bottom in this first stitch here. So th this is the front of my work here. I know it looks kind of funny now, but, and this is the 12 we skipped in the beginning. Start with that very first one. Pull your yarn through, chain one, and go back in it and single crochet. So we'll put one single crochet in every stitch across here. Okay, there should have been 12 stitches there because that's how many we skipped. Now, you see this stitch right here, this little hole that connects this one and this one. We're going to go into that little hole there, like that. And now we're going to work one single crochet up the side here. So you can kind of see where they need to go. They go at the end of each row. And then right here. And then right here, 
there's some kind of holes. You can kind of tell where they're supposed to go. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but you should be able to tell where these need to go at the end of each row. There'll be like kind of a hole. If you look right there, that each one of the single crochet need to go in. We're going to do this all the way up this side. Okay, here's the top and here's the side. You want to make sure you go into this last one right here. And now we're going to start working up the top here. And we're going to go on each one of these stitches. And there should have been 12 across the top there because that's how many we chained before and now we're going to continue start here right here in this little spot putting one single crochet down the other side you can see the holes that the single crochet needs to go to at the end of each row going to this last spot now what you want to do is we've made it here to the end you should have 44 stitches now you want to count and make sure you have 44 around and if you're having trouble you know going up the sides and stuff just try to evenly space it out to where you get 44 stitches because that's how many you need to have say you come to the end here and you have um, 43. It's not going to hurt you to put two into the last stitch to make it 44. That's not going to be no a big deal. So, uh, but once you make it around and you got to have 44 stitches, we're going to use the stitch marker again. So we'll go ahead and place it here. Now we're going to go around again and we're just going to put one single crochet in every single stitch until we get back to the stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around, and that would be row two of the wrist part that we're working on now. I know it's kind of hard to see it, but if you look right here, you'll be able to see that this is one and this is two. Now we're going to start on row three of the wrist part. And go ahead and move your stitch marker up, round three, row three. Um, now we're going to do some decreases. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one double crochet or one single crochet in the first two stitches so there's one and there's two and now I'm going to decrease over the next two like that then I'm going to do one single crochet into the next two stitches and then I'm going to decrease over the next two single crochet into the next two stitches And decrease over the next two so I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker single crochet into the next two and then decrease over the next two all the way around until I get back to my starting point okay I've made it back and you should have decreased the last stitch and now you should have 33 stitches and that would be the end of round three of our um, wrist part so you can see it to count your rows you can see one two three that's where we started our wrist part or if you look on the side you can probably see it better because these are going this way the wrist part is going these are horizontal the side and then the wrist part is is vertical when you look at it from up and down's perspective like here's the top that's just so you can tell your rows but one two three so we're on round three 
So I'm going to move my stitch marker up. And now I'm going to work rounds of, and we got 33 stitches. I'm just going to work rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm on, that was round three. Now we're working round four of the wrist part. It's one single crochet in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. Just like that. Okay, you want to repeat that round four of one single crochet in every stitch till you get a total of six rounds on the mitt part here, or the on this wrist part. So, and you should have uh, 33 stitches at the end of, of those rounds. So, starting from the very first round, if you look at it, I got it. Here's the top. Here's the side of it. You can see the vertical rows. Here's where we're working the wrist part. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So row four was one single crochet in every stitch, so was row five, and so was row six. Now, row seven, we're gonna de do a decrease. So we're gonna move our stitch marker up, and we're going to put one single crochet into the first stitch, and then we're gonna decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next stitch, and then decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next stitch, and then decrease over the next two. And this is row seven we're working on. So we're gonna repeat this until we get back to the stitch marker. One single crochet in the next, and then decrease over the next two. One into the next, and then decrease. All the way back around to get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back and I have two stitches left and you should be able to decrease over those last two. Now, at the end of row seven, you should have 22 stitches now. So I've made it back to my stitch marker, so I'm gonna pull it up. And now I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch for row eight. So I'm just gonna work around, putting one single in every stitch. And you still should have 22 stitches when you make it back around. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker out. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. And I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch around. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to right back into that same stitch that I just slip stitch into and do a double crochet. And then I'm going to work one double. This is... Um, row nine of every stitch in every stitch all the way around until I get back to where I started and you still should have 22 stitches now I'm making the cuff of the mitt Okay, when I make it back around after my one double crochet in every stitch, I'm going to slip stitch it to my first double crochet. Still should have 22 stitches. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to double crochet right back there in that same stitch. Like that. And now what I'm, doing, I'm going to do is a front post double crochet into the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and instead of going into the top of the stitch, I'm going to work around the post like that, the front side of it. And I'm going to do a double crochet right around the post. Now the next stitch I'm going to work a regular double crochet right in the top. And 
and then the next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet again so I'm going to yarn over and not go into the top I'm going to go around the post of the stitch like that and then I will just do my double crochet and then I'm going to do a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch right into the top of it and then a front post double crochet around the next so go right around the post of it and then do your double regular double into the top of the next and then a front post double around the next and this is the pattern we're going to repeat all the way around regular double into the top of the next and then a front post double around the post of the next so just go ahead and repeat this until you get back to the beginning okay I've made it all the way around and you should have ended in a front post double crochet now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into our first double crochet and we're going to repeat that row again so we're going to chain one go right back into that same stitch and do a double crochet and then I'm going to do a front post double around the post of the next stitch and then a regular double in top of the next stitch front post double around the post of the next one and a regular double into the top of the next so we're just repeating our previous row again and now it's kind of put in a little bit of a ridging on the cuff or ribbing I guess So go ahead and repeat that all the way around back to the beginning okay once you make it back around you still should have your 22 stitches what I'm going to do is end it with a slip stitch into my first double crochet and I'm going to repeat that row one more time so I'm going to chain one go back into the same stitch double crochet And now I'm going to work front post double around the next. So what I'm doing is just repeating those last two rows one more time. And then a regular double crochet into the top of the next. Just like we did before. Front post double crochet and then regular double. Front post and then regular double all the way around till we get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back to the beginning, you want you still have your 22 stitches. You want to go in and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet. And now I'm just going to go around it all with one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to chain one, go back into that same stitch, single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet into the top of every stitch all the way around and this is just going to put a nice clean edge on the end of it so one single in every stitch until you get back to the beginning you should have 22 stitches still when you make it back around and that just puts that clean edge that finishing edge on it okay I've made it back around and I got my 22 single crochets go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet not that chain one but the first single and then you can clip this yarn off and now you want to hide any remaining tails that you have okay once you hide all your tails there it is so it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit like I said to put a can in at first but there we go once you get it going Got her all the way down in there. And now, got a beverage mitt. There it is. I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. So your hand goes right in there. You can use it whether, depend, whether you're left or right handed. Doesn't matter. But now you can hold your hand and in there. Your hand won't get cold from holding the drink. And 
got cotton on the inside, so I don't know if your can sweats or whatever, it's going to absorb it. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, too. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss out any tutorials that I put on. When you subscribe um, at my main channel page, if you hit that bell right next to this, when you hit the subscribe button, you'll always get notified every time I put a new video on. And until next time, have a good day.